Ivy, good evening to you. So the score is still 26 to nothing, Dallas. So certainly not what Giants fans are hoping for here at Smithfield Hall in Chelsea. As you can see, a lot of the bar is emptied out. A lot of Giants fans probably going home. Not the scenario that we wanted. But I will say that fans for both teams started off tonight really, really strong. I'm excited. You know, it's. Uh, I'm glad it's fall. I'm glad it's Giants season. I think it's this year. Uh, glad to be back on prime time. Uh, I'm glad to get a win against the Dallas Cowboys. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. No shortage of confidence from Giants and Cowboys fans kicking off the season on a high note with an intense rivalry. We're in the red zone, so uh, you got to eat your words, buddy. Well, wait to see Mike at number 11's coming. It's going to be over for number I 8 I believe there. in Daniel Jones. The first Sunday of the NFL season, off to a hot start. Feel pretty good. You know, they had a great year last year. They had a lot of things go right, so it's going to be hard to kind of repeat that, but love the head coach, love the quarterback, and... It should be a very exciting year for the New York Giants. But of course, the Giants aren't the only team in town. They're just the first to play. On Monday night, the Jets take on the Bills to start their season. And those fans are out tonight, too. The Buffalo Bills tomorrow night. Go Bills Mafia. This is probably the most hopeful that I've been for a Jets season since probably about 2010 or 2011. So it's been a while that I've actually been able to be excited for the Jets. So it's kind of refreshing. Regardless of the outcome, there is one clear winner, the bars and restaurants who broadcast the games. Great crowd, great people. And we do this every Sunday. We label all the TVs. Every game is on. Everybody gets what they want to see. Happy days.